A grim sight along the foreshore near the Trevallon power station. Dead eels rot by the boardwalk. Some crushed, others dismembered. I've seen them, but not to the extent that I've seen them now today. Um, we might see two, three, or maybe four over the whole length of the walk. But this conglomerate here, yes, it's, I haven't seen this. A short distance away in the tail race channel, birds feed on more dead eels as they wash out of the turbines. Hydro-Tasmania scientist Dr David Ikedefe has spent years working on safe passage for native eels trying to reach warmer waters to mate. Well at this stage, well we, we actually don't know how many are passing through the, through the turbines, so in order to, to improve that ratio we've actually got to understand what it is. Back in 2020, David and his team attempted to address the issue by drilling a bypass through Trevallon Dam. It's designed to allow mature eels to migrate downstream. However, despite it, eels are still ending up in the turbines. It was a million dollar project. Dr Akedefe says it's functioning as intended, but he's unsure how many eels are using it. And these things are notoriously hard to, to do. There aren't very many examples of, of working ones around the world. Third generation eel fisher Brad Finlayson catches and exports the live native eels. His family's business was moved away from the Trevallon Dam wall when the bypass was built. It cut his catch numbers. So the question that we ask is that uh, is the new migration trap working or is it uh, a waste of public money? Mr Finlayson says he can't supply all his international customers. And these guys are asking the question why we aren't supplying these fish anymore, yet, yet they're, uh, they're turning up dead, chopped up in the actual tar race. The eel migration is set to last several more weeks until early April. Only time will tell how many will make it out to sea. Luke Radford, ABC News.